Laser defense to Ben Shallon. Washed it in the gun with one back behind him. He drops it on the ground, picks it up, and then the play just taking it up and down, takes it back towards the end zone at the 40. He's going to score a touchdown at their 40. Oh, I mean, down to the 20, the 15, the 5, touchdown, Dominique Wheeler, I believe, 21 on the return. Absolutely. The quarterback fumbled it around the 10 yard line, the 15 yard line. The David Dean Show. Your weekly look at Valdosta State University Blazer football is brought to you by Georgia Farm Bureau. Welcome to the David Dean Show, Valdosta State 37, Angelo State 3. Another great performance for the Blazers coach and especially your defense who continues to play well. They get shoved around a little bit early in the game, but then they take over. <laughs> they do a great job of making adjustments after the first drive and really proud of the way they're playing right now. They're, they're flying to the football. They're, they're getting a lot of hats on the football and uh, I'm, I'm really proud to see the way that they're keeping us in the game because we didn't play very well offensively. Mm -hmm. Shot ourselves in the foot quite a bit but to go in with a 20 to nothing lead uh, was big for us and it says a lot for how well the defense played. And another momentum changer, uh, the first game of the year at Fort Valley we get the block extra point. They're driving, Angelo State's driving on that first drive. The quarterback just drops the football <laughs> and a perfect bounce into Dominic Wheeler's hands. He takes it 86 yards. Well, that was a huge momentum swinger. And, and you know, he had an interception in the series before. So two straight series, he had a, a turnover. But I was proud to see him. Uh, you'll see it on the highlights. It was a great bounce. You know, his fortuitous bounce. He got he got it on the on the run and was able to outrun everybody. But that was a big momentum swinger. And by the way, that's the second longest in the history of the program on a fumble return, 86 yards. And uh, mentioned so I don't forget, Andy uh, Anthony Pastelli, three field goals out of four. Yeah, came in and, and kicked very well right down the middle. He missed the first one, uh, just kind of pulled it a little bit to the left. But uh, really proud to see him come in and, and deliver on those because those ended up being huge. You know, instead of us being 14 to nothing, we were 20, and then we got another one there late in the second, second half. All right, Coach, we'll take our first break and be back with the highlights in just a moment. Dominique Wheeler, cornerback, Atlanta, Georgia. You are watching the David Dean Show. Turn up. Let's do it. Welcome back to the David Dean Show, Coach. You and I were talking before we came on uh, to tape this show. Angelo stayed a losing record, and I said, you look at that team and you wonder, how can they be one, two, one and three? It, it just, they got athletes, uh, it's just amazing. Well, they're a lot better team than one and three. There's unfortunate their record uh, or their schedule, they've, they've played three top 15 teams in their first four games. And that's tough to do. But, uh, you know, I think you'll hear some noise from them down the stretch. I think that they'll play well in the Lone Star Conference. And uh, they're a good group of guys. They're very good athletes, they're well coached. Uh, you know, it's just, they were unfortunate that they yeah. rolled into a team that played pretty good last night. Well, let's take a look at this first half highlights. Beautiful night. Here come the kids. Uh, this has turned into be a nice event. We always have a bunch of kids doing that, and uh, it's, it's fun for them, and I think the students enjoy that. It is a lot of fun. Our players love to, to come out of the locker room and, and see the kids lined up there, and uh, it's always a great way to kick off the game. Uh, you know, we had good kickoff coverage again. They, they were a very good kickoff return team, and, and we were able to, to keep them to minimal yardage. They had two very good running backs, and their quarterback uh, was also an excellent player. As you can see, he throws the ball very well. They put together a very good drive here uh, to start the game, and uh, we were very fortunate right down here in the red zone. We were able to get the interception right there to, to turn it over to us. And, this is our first drive of the game, and uh, we have a nice little throw out there to, to Reginald Lewis. Makes a good catch. Reginald had a nice, nice football game. Big third down throw right here to Chris Anderson. Makes the catch over the middle. And then, uh, you know, unfortunately, we, we don't put points on this drive. We do have a nice drive and get down here with an opportunity to score. Great run here by, with uh, Cedric O'Neill getting us all the way down inside the 10 yard line. And unfortunately here we don't, we don't end up putting points on the board. We come away empty and I'm really proud of our guys for not, uh, not going in the tank after this. We, we missed the field goal there, so it's still a 0-0 game. Uh, and there's really only about five minutes left in the first quarter. It's a lot of time was run off and then we we're fortunate here. They just lose it and it's a great bounce right there. And uh, Dominic Wheeler's got great speed. And uh, 
takes it all the way in for a touchdown. Really excited to see a, another senior right there get a get a touchdown. And so we go up seven to nothing, and you know they come back again, and you can see that we're flying now to the football, making some big hits, kind of established uh, our run defense, not letting them get loose very much. Great job here on the screen, Jeremy Grable making a big play. There's Trocon Gay, a lot of a lot of black hats around there. And here was a big, big plus for us on the night. Reginald Lewis makes a good catch here on the punt return. We got good blocking. And uh, this set up two, we had two very nice punt returns that set up great field position for us. Big third down throw right here to, to Willie Downs. Oh, I wish he could have kept his feet. He gets down into the five and then Reginald Lewis here, I'm not real sure how he didn't get that one in the end zone. I think they were looking at the black line thinking it was a touchdown. And then we, uh, Throw the slant route right there to Shontavious Jones for the touchdown. So we put together two good drives and, and finally got the points out of, out of that one. And uh, again, our run defense is just really, really good right now. We were very strong up the middle. That's a big offensive line, big physical offensive line. And uh, our linebackers played very well. Our defensive line was doing a good job getting their hands on the, on the linemen and get, getting off blocks. And, not giving them a lot of big holes to run through. And then we were fortunate here. They drive the ball down, come down and miss a field goal. Good throw here again to Reginald Lewis, makes another big catch. And then here's another third down conversion right there to Willie Downs on third down and two, makes a great move. And then here's another good throw and catch. Chris Anderson making another catch there on the slant. And then uh, here's what this guy does best. He's just so good at seeing things. And then here's one of Anthony's kicks. You see how it's nice and high, gets good, plenty of distance on it. Uh, so again, we've, we've got another scoring drive. We really right now should be at least 21, 24 to nothing, somewhere around in there. And we just squandered away some, some opportunities. And again, another great return. Reads is blocking well. Gets up inside and we got good field position there starting on the 30 yard line. Great third down, again, good third down conversion. We get down in the red zone and uh, don't come away with a touchdown, have to settle for a field goal again. So uh, again, you know, I think the score could have been bigger at that time, but you know, we're happy with the 20 to nothing lead. They have a great punt, pins us down at the one yard line and we've got to come off the goal line here right before the half and not give them good field position. And we do, we, uh, we were able to, to run the clock out right there with a couple of first downs to finish it off. So a little disappointing going in offensively. I thought we could have put more points on the board, but was very, very happy with the way our defense was playing in and having a 20 to nothing lead. Mentioned a couple of numbers too. Angelo came in over 500 yards a game, held him to 294. Uh, third down conversions, they were three for 14, one for three in the red zone. So, again, your defense. It is. You know, the, the conversion downs, the third and fourth downs, when you can hold people to three for 14, you've got a chance to be very successful in the game, and that's what happened. And for the second straight week, we're very good on third down. All right, Coach. We'll take a break and be back with the second half highlights. The David Dean Show is brought to you by Georgia Farm Bureau and also by Mediacom. First State Bank and Trust, Blanton and Griffin, Anheuser-Busch, Holiday Inn, Prince Automotive, and U.S. Education TV. Welcome back to the David Dean Show. Coach, you're going with the nice 20 to nothing lead, but uh, I know how you are, and I'm not a coach, but I'm the same way. I'm still not comfortable, really. I mean, you, you feel like you're in control, but you never know. Yeah, we felt like we were. We were playing well defensively, but still in the back of your mind, you know how explosive they are on offense and how they can put points on the board. And with us squandering our weight, what I thought was some points in the first half and keeping them in the ball game, it was a three possession game. So we had to come out and, and try to get a score right off the bat. We had the ball first and we went three and out, which was very, very disappointing. But our defense made a great stand. And then from that point on, I think our offense kind of took back over the game. All right, let's watch the second half. Jeremy Gray will coach in on 14 tackles, and Chris Pope 10, and Gresham again, another good night for him, eight. Yeah, but I, you know, again, our linebackers are playing very well right now, and Jeremy had a great night. They tried to screen a couple of times, and, and, and he did a great job of, of pinning that down. And 
Uh, here's a, a true freshman right there making making the return. He wasn't down. He ended up getting some extra yards off of that. But uh, again, really really disappointing. We go three and out right here, and we end up getting a great punt right here by Dom Damasi. They misjudge it, and it goes over his head, and we get a great bounce and really huge. Uh, field position swing right there. We push the ball down inside the 14 yard line. And uh, again, our defense is still playing very, very well. You know, as you can see, we're getting off blocks and, and there's nowhere for the running back to run. And that's the one thing that they have done a very good job of is, uh, is being able to run that football. And we get getting a lot of hats on there. And they do do a good job, drive down and they end up getting the field goal there. And uh, you know, halfway through the the third quarter, they, they finally put up some points on the board. And then, well, what's really, really close here on this kickoff return, Nick breaks through and he's just, the kicker gets him on the thigh there and trips him up. I, I would love to see Nick take that one the distance. We have three straight passes right here to Willie going the screen routes, gets good blocking outside. And he's just such a strong individual. He can make people miss and then makes a, Great move right there, and uh, along with that uh, strength, he's got great speed, ends up taking it. Coach, he was, by the way, he was involved on every single play. That was his entire drive. He, <laughs> Hayden, he, he did a great job on that, and it, it wasn't that we were trying to do that. It, it just worked out that that's where we ended up, the reads uh, were, were going, and uh, he made some, some fine plays on that. And Here's another nice catch by, by Reginald Lewis, getting some positive yards, and that was one where we ended up having a punt. So we've exchanged punts in the game. And then again, there's, you see Justin Williams and Trocon Gay and all those guys doing a great job here. They get a nice punt, pin us down at the one yard line. Good third down conversion again to Willie. He made some great third down catches for us. Good run right there again by Cedric. I thought that uh, he ran the ball very well again, and, and you'll see as this goes on, fourth quarter, he gets better and better as he goes. Nice little sprint out pass here that we hit Willie, and see it takes a lot of folks to bring Willie down. Rashmel Young is a sophomore for us, plays behind Reginald Lewis, came, came in and did a, an outstanding job in the game. You'll see him make a great block here on the screen. Great throw and catch, and here's the block right here by, by Rashmel, and frees up Shontavious to get down the sideline and a good run again just see the footwork that that Cedric has he has he has strength and he has great footwork unfortunately we, we don't uh, get a, uh, an opportunity to score a touchdown I thought our PAT field goal team did a great job they were really putting a lot of pressure on us and running a guy at the snap and our guys did a great job of keeping that guy from jumping in the backfield Big play right here by a true freshman from Lounge, Kenny Moore. Makes a great stop there on third down. Very lucky here, we have a bad snap and it goes right to Cedric. He's a heads up play and makes the, uh, the scoop there. You can see how hard he's running. He just runs so hard late in the ball game. He and Austin are just a great combination. And here's the touchdown that they called back. I'm still. Sexy celebration. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out. You know, unfortunate that, that Willie has that one called back because that was, that was a big play. And unfortunately, the very next snap, we throw an interception. And uh, I was a little upset with the, the officiating crew on that. I couldn't get a good explanation of what happened. But, you know, to, to our credit and our defense, you can see us we'll, we're flying around. There's Charmaine Washington from Colquitt County making another big hit. He's such a physical football player. Great run again here by Austin. Big block there by, by Willie. And uh, we, we want to put another touchdown on the board. We got to make a statement here and, and we do a great job of running the football, mixing up some run and throw. And here's a little underneath pitch route to, to uh, Rashmel who makes a great run. And then this is just wheel to get in the end zone. That's a lot of big guys that are holding him, holding the uh, little guy. He drives himself into the end zone for the touchdown. Get another stop and then we got a lot of extra guys coming in. Here's a great play there by Caleb Nobles. We're so fortunate to have him part of, of our team. He does a great job of, of seeing things from the sideline. He's a great leader for our football team even though he's a backup quarterback. 
And uh, we put together some nice runs with some young guys and, and were able to run the clock out. Coach, before the game we talked, and you talked about how you wanted some some time-consuming drives, not to quick score. You'd like to quick scores, yeah. but you had those, but in all cases really ended up with field goals. You had 11-play drive, uh, a 7-play drive, a 14-play drive, but three field goals. Well, I, I'm, I'm proud to see that, that we're able to control the ball a little bit more. We'd love to finish them off with touchdowns, and I think that was what was kind of the disappointing part. But it is good to see us get 11 and 14-play drives in there in the ball game. Yeah, you, you're not going to turn down those quickie scores. No, I'll but. never do that. I'll never turn down a score. <laughs> I'll take a few fumble and interception returns for touchdowns, too. All right. Well, another good win for Valdosta State, 37-3. to And we'll be back in just a moment with the Drury Inn and Sweet Scoreboard. Tyler Rose, wide receiver from Jacksonville, Florida. And you're watching the David Dean Show. Go Blazers. Welcome back to the Drury Inn and Sweet Scoreboard. And Coach, uh, run through some scores real quickly here. West Georgia continues to win 31-14 to over Shorter. They're 3-1. and Yeah, they are. The only loss that they've had is uh, to a, a ranked team in, in the Lone Star Conference Midwestern State playing very well. And uh, Fort Valley State wins again over Benedict, and we want them to win because we beat them and they're in our region. Yeah, it helps our strength of schedule, and, and we got to have them continue to win through the way. I think they will. they got a very good football team. Uh, UNC Pembroke, who will play later in the season, 38-10 to 10 over Wingate. Well, they're undefeated right now, and they've played a very tough schedule and uh, have come through undefeated. Uh, don't look forward to playing them later on in the yeah. year. And Delta State over Florida Tech. That's our upcoming homecoming opponent, Florida Tech is. We'll talk about that in the next segment. But uh, Delta wins. They're 3-1. Yeah, they are. They're playing very well. Beat North Alabama last week. They're... Uh, the only loss that they had was to Texas A&M Commerce out of the Lone Star Conference, which we were really surprised me, but uh, they're playing very good right now. And this score really shocked you, West Texas A&M 69 over Texas A&M Kingsville 7. <laughs> and that was Texas A&M Kingsville was 3-0 and going into that game. Yeah, Texas A&M Kingsville is, I think, the number two or three team in the country right now, and they're proving that. They've got uh, very good offense. Uh, they look very good when I had an opportunity to watch them on film and was really surprised that uh, they beat an undefeated Kingsville team. You, you know, we're at the point in the season where you can start getting a feel for how good teams are as, a, mm -hmm. as, a, as some of the teams are playing some good football teams. and. Uh, so you know a little bit more, I think. Yeah, you, you start to find some things out about folks. You know, West Alabama only has one loss. They beat Concordia, I think, this week, 71-14. to 14. I didn't even want to mention that one. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> but they beat them pretty bad. Sorry about that. But, you know, their only loss right now is to an FCS school who yeah. beat South Florida. So, you know, the, the Gulf South Conference, again, is strong. Everybody's playing very well. Really, the only one that is not won any games right now is shorter. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Florida Tech is when we have an opportunity to watch them on film, who, who will be our next opponent. And all right, so Coach, we'll uh, talk about them in our next segment, Florida Tech, which is homecoming. So we'll be back with the Georgia Farm Bureau. Look ahead in just a minute. What will you find at Valdosta State University? Challenging academics. Innovative hands-on experience. Over 100 fields of study. Engagement in a vibrant community. Caring mentors and friends. Service and leadership opportunities. Championship athletics. The full university experience. At Valdosta State University. The David Dean Show is brought to you by Georgia Farm Bureau. And also by Colony Bank. The Houston Clinic. Sunset Farm Foods. Drury Inn and Suites the Georgia Lottery, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Welcome back to the Georgia Farm Bureau. Look ahead and coach, uh, homecoming's coming up. Florida Tech's coming to town. Let's talk about them. First year in Division II football, and I'm firmly convinced they're going to become good really quick, being the only D2 school in Florida. Well, they are. They're getting a lot of the Division II players in the state of Florida that, that we can't get, West Georgia can't get, West Alabama, so forth. So they're, they're a very good football team. They're improving each, each week, and uh, I know they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Then West Florida is going to open up in 2016, so that will hurt them a little bit. But uh, it's good to have two Florida schools in the Gulf South Conference. It really helps our travel. Instead of going to Arkansas, we get to go to those places. And, Coach, you, you, uh, it is homecoming, and, and all coaches are not happy with homecoming. But, you know, you get to see a lot of the old players. They come back, and it's good to see, and things like that that happen. And, uh, your players seem to handle homecoming pretty well. 
Well, we do, and, and I mentioned it last night in the locker room. You know, I, I try to get that in their mind right off the bat. But it is fun. It's a great week for us as coaches because we get to see a lot of former players, and uh, that's the exciting part. But there's so many distractions that go along with the game and the week. Uh, but, you know, as long as our kids handle it the proper way and focus in on what's supposed to take place Saturday afternoon, then, uh, then I'm pleased with, with what they can do. And, and you know, I, I always try to tell them, have fun after the game, but let's, let's be all business up until game time. Well, give us a quick uh, scouting report on Florida Tech. Well, we don't know a whole bunch about them. Obviously, we haven't seen them with them being in the first game of the year. We saw them a little bit against West Alabama, but West Alabama uh, knocked them off pretty good. They look like they're very athletic. They've got some good skill folks, which is not surprising being from Florida. they got good speed. Looks like they have good size. We don't know a, too much about them defensively because uh, we have not seen a, a lot of film on them, and that's what we'll start to do this afternoon. All right, Coach, congratulations again on a good win, 37-3 on Saturday night. Homecoming, our first day game of the year at 3 o'clock against Florida Tech over at Baysmore Hyder Stadium, and we hope you'll find the time to come out and support Valdosta State University, who remains undefeated and ranked number one in the country. For the head coach, David Dean, I'm Dick Rodney. Have a great week.